How's it going, everyone? I know, another content creator trying to share something with all of you. But if you're looking to transform a plain wall like this into something amazing, then you've come to the right place. My name is Arsha TV, and let's get started. The panels we'll be using today are from R3D. All links will be posted in the description below. Come follow me into the studio of our dreams. We hope you enjoy this content as we put our heart and souls into this project. Join me, and together, I mean, <laughs> I mean we can start the studio of your dreams. All right, let's get started. Here are some of the tools you'll be needing today if you wish to tackle this project. Our first step is to find and mark the center of the walls. You will need a level, a pencil, and a measuring tape to find the center of the walls. We explain why more in depth in the next segment. These tools will also be used to help mark the back of the panels to be cut based on your wall's shape and size. In order to apply the panels to the wall, you will need a caulking gun and liquid nails adhesive. For cutting the panels, you can use a utility knife for small precision cuts around the electrical outlets or light switches. And for the majority of all the cuts, I recommend using a pair of offset tin snips. In this next segment, we'll help you find the center of the wall. The reason why I like to start from the center is to keep a nice, clean, symmetrical border that matches left to right sides of the wall and the top and bottom, because not all walls are created equal. I mean, perfect square. <laughs> Make sure you leave a comment below if you have any questions, and we'll assist you as much as we can. Also, be sure to double check your measurements, as this will be a pain in the ass to remove later, and it could be a costly mistake. Some walls may be difficult to measure. This is where a friend or family member would be particularly useful, but not necessarily required. I was lucky enough to have EWOGX close by to help me out. And thank you, old friend. All right. Once you've found the center, mark the walls going from the center to all four walls to give yourself enough. Oh, sorry. <laughs> make sure that you have a level to work with. A level will make this part much easier to keep things straight. Don't mess this up. You son of a fat. Deep breath. All right. R3D recommends you to leave products unboxed in the room to be installed for 24 to 48 hours to accumulate to your home's temperature. When gluing of the panel, you'll want to make sure that you have a couple of rags and some water to clean up any overflow when applying to the panels. Be sure to apply glue all around the edges of the panel as well as the center to make sure you get it stuck to the wall firmly. Alright, time to stick the panels on the walls from the center. Warning: Some of the liquid nails may seep out of the side. Don't worry, if this happens you can clean it up with a dry or wet cloth. Be sure to apply firmly only on the panels that are touching the walls and not the beveled portions. Be sure to rotate so that your panel is not the same on any two sides facing each other, as instructed by R3D. You'll see here, we're installing and rotating at every given moment. You'll notice that we have not used full pieces anywhere else on this entire diagram, and then all the rest of them are gonna be cuts. Let's go and show you what it looks like to start cutting. Congratulations, you are now entering the cutting phase. For top and bottom pieces, we found that you can use one full piece cut in half for both sides, depending on how much of room you are working with. For cutting the panels, we suggest using tin snips, as they are the easiest to follow your marked lines without causing any chips in the panel that we've experienced using the f***ing saw. For small precision cuts, a sharp utility knife works really well, as long as you go slow and carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're all done. Now you can add some LED lights to make it really pop. When I first thought about starting this project, I had tons of questions and concerns. So if you've had any questions, feel free to fire them away. I'll be here or have someone to support you. If you want to support us, I'll humor you by eating one bean boozle live on stream for every thousand subscribers and likes this video gets. If we get over 10,000 likes, we'll make another video based on your comments below while I'm in the bathroom from each dead fish, uh, spoiled milk, <laughs> and rotten egg that I consume. So until next time, you'll see me, 
live on stream. Have a great one, and remember, you are breathtaking.